seventh big slate of games here in college basketball. As the college basketball conference tournaments heat up, we bring in our man Dynamite David in a little bit. But first, let's get into some of the other games that are going on. We got some NBA action. We got some Europa League action. No tennis action today that uh, Marseille Open just didn't seem to have anything I quite like. Uh, but a uh, lot of Europa League uh, today. Uh, let's start out in the Euro- Europa League with some Dynamio Kiev. Uh, plus one is 75. Draw no bet versus Villarreal. We're gonna, you're going to see a trend here where I'm taking a lot of draw no bets, but I'm taking a lot of the uh, uh, quote-unquote underdog bets. Uh, home teams here, but uh, Kiev tends to give a lot of these teams uh, trouble, especially on the road here. So I really think Villarreal will struggle a little bit here. So I like Dynamo Kiev, uh, plus 175 versus Villarreal, draw no bet. Uh, Speaking of the big matchup in the Europa League, AC Milan versus Manchester United. I'm going with AC Milan, plus 310, draw no bet. Really like the value here. I think this got a little bit bloated because of Manchester United's win versus Man City over the weekend uh if anybody watched that game uh really uh manchester city controlled most of that second half had many more shots on target if it wasn't for a very early penalty in that game uh that that uh manchester united did not i thought look all that great uh so i think ac milan should have a chance here and uh certainly draw no bet really really nice play to uh, go with here so plus 310 i think is really good value we're gonna go with rangers plus 115 draw versus novet versus saglia pra um really like rangers here uh they just clinched the title last week they can really shoot for this europa league now they have no worry about playing uh any more games in the uh uh, Irish Premier League, so I really like uh, Rangers here, plus 115. Just think it's a uh, really nice value. Salvia Pro really uh, played well the week before uh, in their uh, matchup in the Europa League, but I-, I think Rangers are the better squad here, and uh, secretly, if you could put a ra- bet on Rangers to win their Europa League, I think there's some uh, value there. I really like Rangers uh, here. And uh, lastly, we're going to go with the Olympiacos. Plus 200 draw no bet versus Arsenal. Really think there's good value here. Uh, I- I'm just feeling an Arsenal struggle in Olympiacos. Uh, teams tend to struggle there anyway, and uh, I just feel like Arsenal will have their uh, eyes set on the matchup with Tottenham coming up over the weekend. I think this is a tough matchup versus Olympiacos. Here, let's go to the NBA. Full slate of games, and I can only find one really that I really, truly liked, and that was Sacramento minus four and a half versus the Houston Rockets. Just couldn't find anything else where I could get a really good read uh on uh, how these teams are going to pop up after the All-Star break. But uh, I do think the Rockets are going to go in full tank mode. I think we might have one more uh, little push here for the Sacramento Kings before they hit the uh, trading deadline and to see if they're going to uh, sort of restart a new rebuild or uh, keep some of their veterans. So really like the Kings minus four and a half versus the Houston Rockets. All right, let's get into some college basketball. All right, we're going to go to college basketball and bring in our man, Dynamite David, as the conference tournaments heat up more and more, and we get better and better games as the week gets later and later. Dynamite, do you got some picks for us today? I've got a long list of picks today, a lot of good games, and I'm really excited to watch some of them today. All right, what do you got for us today, Dynamite? All right, I'm going to go through these pretty quick. I like uh, Florida State minus three and a half versus Duke. I, 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 you know, Duke's gone on a little bit of a run, but it's going to end today against the favorites in Florida State. Uh, I like Missouri minus six and a half versus Georgia. Um, I think uh, Missouri's going to get some things together today and they're going to win that one big. Texas plus one and a half versus Texas Tech. I like Georgia Tech minus nine and a half versus Miami. Uh, they handled Miami uh, a few weeks ago pretty Pretty easily beat them by almost 20, I believe. I think uh, it's going to be another big outcome today. I uh, got this one early. It's moved a couple points, but I like Georgetown plus eight and a half versus Villanova. Villanova's missing a lot of key players uh, from their last game where they beat Georgetown, and I think that's going to be the difference. Uh, Georgetown might not get the win here, but they're going to stay within that eight and a half. I like St. John's plus one and a half versus Seton Hall. I like Nevada plus four and a half versus Boise State. I think uh, this Boise State's been struggling, and this Nevada team's been uh, 
surging here at the end, and it's not at Boise State, so I like Nevada here. I like Butler plus 10.5 versus Creighton. This Butler's defense has been playing really good. They're going to keep this one close. I like Syracuse plus 5.5 versus Virginia. Um, I just really like this. Uh, it's it's Jim Beheim. It's it's tournament time. Syracuse is going to look good against uh, the number one seed in Virginia. And I like West Virginia minus three and a half versus Oklahoma State. And those are, I believe, ten picks for me today. All right, ten picks for the Dynamite. We agree on a couple and disagree on a couple. I'm going to go with Georgetown as well, plus the eight and a half versus Villanova. I'm going against you with Virginia minus five and a half versus Syracuse. I think uh, Virginia really dominates Syracuse because Syracuse does play that slow down zone style, and uh, Virginia tends to eat that up. I got Akron minus one and a half versus Bowling Green. Uh, really like the Zips today. I think they're a sleeper in the MAC to uh, win this whole thing. I I have Texas Tech minus one and a half versus Texas. I'm going to ride the Chris Beard uh, postseason match against see if it still exists and uh, see if they make a run in the Big 12. I'm going with Hawaii plus five and a half versus Cal Riverside. Hawaii been a little bit down as of late, uh, but I think that's due to uh, mostly travel and uh, home and away issues. But I think uh, as they're settled here in this tournament, I I think they'll be able to play up to their capabilities as the second or third best team in the Big West versus Cal Riverside. And lastly, we're going to a throwback, a dominant team in the late 1950s. Seattle University plus one and a half versus Cal Baptist. We're bringing back that Elgin Baylor pride of 1958 when we made it into the final four. And I think they have a run in them here. You you do know that, you know, the big 10 tournaments going on, the ACC tournaments going on, the SEC tournaments going on, and you're picking Seattle versus what is that? That's Cal Baptist, Cal Baptist. (laughs) Seattle has made as many Final Fours as a lot of those teams in the Big Ten and the Big Twelve. So uh, we we can't hate on Seattle. It just has been seventy years and a thirty year uh, existence in the NAIA until two thousand eight when they moved back. Uh, but that's what I got today. I have six picks in the tournament. So uh big slate for us both in college basketball today. Uh, be sure to follow us at greenlightnetwork.org, Greenlight Network on Facebook and YouTube. Where can we find you, Dynamite? Follow me on Twitter at GLN Dynamite underscore D. I'm GLN Champ 5 on Twitter and Instagram. That's our show, and we're out. <laughs>